In this lesson, we're going to continue painting our realistic skin for our Caucasian female by focusing on the lips. So let's go ahead and get started. So in the previous lesson, we started fleshing out the nose and adding some additional colors, some additional tones into our nose. And it's starting to turn out pretty nice. Let's go ahead once again, changing gears and working our way down. We're going to focus on these lips. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Now, I'm thinking that the lips are pretty large. I've, I've blocked them in. They're, they're almost a little too, too pouty, a little too full. And so we're going to kind of start to adjust the overall form of these lips. And we're going to explore just some highlights, midtones, shadows that really make up these lips. So the first thing I'm doing, still working, by the way, on our detail layer over here in our skin blocking group. The first thing I'm doing is basically just kind of reshaping these lips. Especially this upper lip, it just feels just a little too, a little too full. So I'm just kind of readjusting the overall the overall shape and how it tapers down. Now there's a bazillion <laughs> different kinds of lips in the world, so really the ultimate shape is up to your discretion. If it's something you're making up, you have plenty of freedom. But if you're working from a photo reference or painting someone directly, you definitely want to break the lip down, the lips rather, down into some basic shapes. I sometimes visualize the lips as a series of triangles. We've got a triangle here and a triangle over here and the same thing with the bottom lip. I mean there's many different ways you can break the lips down depending on the angle you're looking at. If you're looking at them head on you may want to break them down into a series of oval shapes. But Right now I'm just kind of trying to rein these lips in just a little bit. So it's already starting to feel a lot better. Now we're going to kind of have like this little puckered kind of muscular muscle area right here that kind of pulls the mouth open. So I'm just trying to get a sense of that form right there. I don't want it to feel too flat. So I'm kind of adding a little bit of a highlight right underneath that puckered area. That way it doesn't feel flat like it goes right into it. We want to feel like there's a little bit of a roll right there. That's already feeling much nicer. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Very nice. We're on the right track. Same thing over here on the screen right. Just kind of trying to clean up everything. It's looking pretty rough. I'm thinking about how that same little pucker shape over here on the screen left might look from a, at this different perspective over here on the screen right. Again, just making a quick comparison. Much better. So let's go ahead and kind of start to solidify these lips a little bit more. I may want to start off by bringing in just kind of a dark blue and kind of establishing that lip line a little more clearly. So this dark blue is going to kind of provide me with a little bit of an, a guide. And now, as I mentioned in an earlier lesson, I am planning for her to be wearing some lipstick. So with that said, her lips are going to be pretty reflective, pretty shiny. When you add something like lipstick, something that's kind of waxy like lipstick, you're going to get a definite shine. But this is also another situation where we don't want to get too carried away with all the peak highlights that we may find ourselves adding. Because the lips can suddenly start to look a little bit unnatural. So I'm just kind of setting that recess in, kind of leading it into the lips. I may want to kind of bring in a darker red. Start to kind of blend that in with some of that blue that I brought in. 
And there's going to be like a shadow right here where that upper lip kind of hangs over or meets that bottom lip. So just bringing in a little bit more of a lighter red. Bring in just a little bit of this pink up here, just from my swatches. My swatches panel. And I'm kind of trying to think about these just different, different little fine little folds in the lips. I'm going to try not to get too carried away with these, adding too many and making them too crisp or too defined. I've often found if I try to make them too super defined, too crisp, too crisp rather, just looks weird. So even though we want the lips to be kind of shiny, we don't want them to be overly, overly defined. And the same thing here at the top, I'm just kind of trying to get a sense of sense of these different little little crevices in the lip here. And again, if you're trying to get a feel of how those little lines kind of look in the lips, you know, you may want to grab a photo reference. If you can find an image of maybe a model or something that has some lipstick on or something like that, and kind of look at that and examine it just to get an idea. Let's go ahead and zoom out and just make a quick comparison. So our lips are starting to shape up pretty good, starting to like the direction that we're going. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these highlight tones down here. We'll try this one that has a little bit of pink in it. Let's we'll start to kind of flesh out the highlight that's going to come across across our lips here. So I'm going to just kind of start out with a line, trying to visualize that. I'm just kind of trying to create a little bit of a road map where I'm going to have those, some of those peak values. Again, I may want to go back down here and just sample from that again. Just kind of start to work in some of those highlights. I feel like we're going to have a highlight over here on the screen right where we have that definite highlight on the side of the face. And just kind of working these lines down in and around these these peak highlights. I'm just zooming out. It's starting to shape up nicely. I'm liking I'm liking where that's going. I may just want to bring in a little more of that kind of a crimson crimson red bringing in some darker blue some violet trying to establish that 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 lip line it's feeling pretty nice and you'll notice we just got a lot of warm colors here in the lips now I kind of want to set the lips into the face a little bit more. I'm grabbing just some warm color from that cheek over there. And I'm feeling like this area right here above the lip is feeling a little bit flat based off of the lighting. And I want to kind of give that illusion that it kind of comes up just a little bit. I'm just resizing my brush, kind of trying to get a sense of the highlights that may be over the top of the lip there. And getting this recess just right. Try not to get the shadows too dark in that recess either. You don't want it to look like she has a little bitty mustache. <laughs> Let's go ahead and zoom out. Very nice. That's looking pretty good. So we can go ahead and continue on refining these lips until we get them just right. But I think they're turning out very nicely. Basically, we've incorporated a lot of warm colors. We've kind of focused on some of the colors that we want for our shadows, for some of our mid-tones, some of our highlights. And I think it's shaping up nicely. Bringing in just a little bit of warmth into that, that smile, 
puckered kind of area right there. Very good. Okay, so in the next lesson, we're basically going to continue refining everything. We're going to start focusing more on the neck and just the skin overall on our Caucasian female. So we'll see you then.